I do want to just touch on on Las Vegas. We were going to talk about that. We'll get to online in a second. Vegas is just, it's brutal. No conventions. 2022 outlook you call bleak in a word. Good morning, Joe. Good to, good to see you. Yes, it's uh, it's an interesting time. My brackets because of Michigan. I was looking, I was doing so well, but then Michigan last night. So Big not ten. sure where I go from here. <laughs> Big Ten. I, and Mick Cronin uh, from the, the University of Cincinnati never got to the Elite Eight. Now he's at UCLA and he's in the Final Four. I got to congratulate him on that. Uh, doing better than the, yeah. the other transplant from XU down at Louisville. Didn't even make the tournament. Anyway, uh, so, okay, so let's go on to online because we get all excited about all the states where we're going to see online. Uh, eventually, but you say the total addressable market, people get excited about it, but a lot of it you can't participate in via public companies. So most of these stocks have already made the gains that they deserve to make. The online gaming stocks are up a lot. I mean, it's really been one of the one of the best performing groups in, in, in the entire marketplace. So, you know, there, there, there's a there's a couple things to say. I think no, number one, Las Vegas, uh, you know, is is just incredibly priced discounted. So if if you wanted to go to Las Vegas over July Fourth weekend, you can get a room for under hundred dollars. The, the, the model doesn't work uh, in Las Vegas as long as that's sustainable. And yes, you're right. There's no meetings. There's no conventions. Nobody's nobody's really going to Las Vegas, Vegas except uh, just on incredibly discounted uh, uh, room blocks. Um, and and so then. Where, where else is there? Um, Macau actually has, has had a, a pretty big surge in business. I mean, you, you, you'd see Macau numbers up 100% versus last year, but they're still down 80% from the peak. So again, Macau has a long way to go, but online gaming this year will be up 100% versus last year. And the states, and every state, you know, you, you and I both know every state needs money, uh, a lot of money. And the online gaming industry, <clears throat> it's it's providing much more revenue than expected. And, and and you compare it with cannabis, which was another solution. Cannabis is doing terribly. Uh, it, it's it's fallen short in, in terms of revenue in every state that's experimented with it, where online gaming certainly has uh, far exceeded expectations. So there's going to be more states that that legalize. And that's you know to the benefit of all the online gaming companies. But. The move's already been made. Are you recommending Penn? You recommending DraftKings? Are you recommending any of these uh, these stocks? I mean, the numbers for one year: seven hundred eighty-eight percent for Penn. DraftKings four hundred percent. Two year: five hundred twenty-three percent. Caesars nine hundred percent. Two year. Yeah, my radar has me. My, you know, the, the U.S. companies are trading at just you know incredible valuations relative to to growth. That I, I would say they're 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 ahead right now of of, of fair value. So I'm, I'm, I'm not really invested here, but <laughs> I do see this amazing opportunity in Europe. Europe and the UK, they've been way ahead of online gaming than the US. We're, we're playing catch up. And so if the valuations of the European online gaming companies are about half or less than the US companies. So you're seeing the beginnings of cross border uh, consolidation. I mean, you, you, you've seen it already. Um, you know, Bally's just just bought GameSys, and, and and so the best value right now in online gaming is is the FTSE listed companies, 888 being one of them, Playtech being another, uh, Entain, which was formerly known as GVC, being a third. Um, th th these businesses, you know, are, are are very strong, very profitable. You know, DraftKings yeah. is not profitable, and and half the valuation. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.